right, well, first and foremost, congratulations. A little over two hours and 15 minutes, I think that game, that match went. And uh, I think a lot of people would have said after game two, well, I guess Transy's done. So maybe coach talk a little bit. It seemed like the team came out tight. You had some unusually, unusual missed serves and passes. So how did you get the team to turn around? Um, we talked a lot about just eye contact and calming each other down. And once they, once they had conversations and other in the eyes and told each other they believed in each other then it kind of went in their favor with the win. Awesome. Kate this is this Emory team is first time Transies beat Emory. Last time we saw them was in 2019 in the second round at their place where we lost three to one. One to three. And so maybe talk about you know uh, when you coming into this game what were you thinking I mean you've seen Emory play and you knew what kind of team they were won two national titles. They have a whole laundry list of awards. What were you thinking in your head? Um, I was just thinking, like, I didn't have a doubt in my mind that we would come out on top. I was more just worried about what happened in the first two games, like nerves taking over. But I knew once we all played together that we would come out on top. And uh, uh, Grace, as, as we get into the game um, and you, you lose that, that second game, and it, and it almost looks like somebody bust a bubble, you know. Um, how, do you, how do you help get your team, and you're sort of the quarterback of the team, how do you get them up for this? Uh, yeah, so in the beginning, I feel like we were by error, and it was like you kept talking about they're not serving us, it's just what we're doing to ourselves. So I think we kind of started moving the ball around. Uh, Amy and I talked about, you know, what they can defend, and I think our quarterback too was on some defense. And our middle can really slide if they can do it, and, you know, we just started taking our errors down and just keeping the same play. Yeah, throughout that game, Coach Barmore, it went from uh, Holcomb's got the most, Shepard's got the most, you know, it just kept switching people. And, I mean, you ended up with 69 kills, 22 for Shepard, 17 for Sweeney, and 13 for Holcomb. It's a pretty good play. What was your, what's your philosophy about, about your hitters? Um, it all goes back to our ball control. Um, we talked about being in system a lot, and if we can get in system, we've got, we've got the arms. So that's kind of what helped us going into the third set. We settled down and got in system to where we can run, you know, pin to pin or even, which opens up the middle a little bit more. So our defense did a phenomenal job. You know, Sylvia Miller had 24 digs and Ava had 16. So we put it all together. It, it appeared as the game started, Carly Wallace for them seemed unstoppable. I mean, she was everywhere. What were some of the strategies, Kate, you were up in the, in the front with her. What were some of your strategies to try to stop her? You know, she's a very strong hitter and mm -hmm. I kind of just, try to bring it back into perspective for the team saying we are letting one person beat us right now and I think once we focused in on her and focused on shutting her down they had to move the ball around a lot more and we were able to stop her and stop her other hitters as well. Well congratulations you're headed to the first time in school history to the third round facing Barry tomorrow night at five o'clock get some rest and get ready to play.